So centering, opening, and making a small cylinder. Smack your clay down. Give it a few pats as it's spinning. Moisten your hands, moisten the clay. Gather yourself, press your elbows down into your legs. Close your hands around it and push forward with the heel of the hand so that the clay starts to move towards the center of the wheel and hold it there until it settles. Seal this edge so it doesn't lift up and suck up a bubble of air underneath it and squeeze it into a cone. Very important is to move slowly and deliberately so that you're not doing anything abrupt and everything is done quietly. So again, push forward with the heel, let the cone rise up, bring it down, push with the left hand and press down with the right hand. Close your fingers and wait until it settles down. So again, push, push into a cone and bring down with the right hand. Wait at the base for a few seconds. And again, a little more speed. And bring it down. And if you don't feel the clay moving around or moving your hands around, then it is centered. So if your fingers are just resting on top of it without it bouncing around, then you are centered. And we'll drop our th thumbs into it to make an opening. Keep the thumbs slightly bit separated so that you see a little piece of clay come out. That's called a wormy. You want to see wormy and then press your thumbs out to widen the space. I'm holding from the outside with my middle and index fingers so it doesn't spread out. And I want this wall to become even all the way from the bottom to the top. I'll take my right hand fingertips and compress the bottom. A very important step because this establishes the foundation for your vessels. Do this carefully, move out from the center to three o'clock and back until you feel you can make that smoothly back and forth without being bounced or wiggled. Bring this in, cone it up a little bit, compress the rim. A little bit of water, left hand fingers on the inside, right hand fingers on the outside. They're in this diagonal, so my inside fingers are on this side, outside fingers on the outside of it. Connect your thumbs, press out into your outside hand, wait a few revolutions and bring both hands up together. Up, up, up. Compress the rim. A little more water. And again, press out, wait, one, two, three, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And the goal is to make this even and straight on both sides so that we can form this into a mug or pitcher or whatever it is that we're making. I'll go and compress the bottom one last time. And I'll lift one more time from the bottom. Slow and go low down a little bit as it's getting a bit thinner. And slowly following the motion of the wheel, not rushing ahead of it, completing each revolution so that it stays centered. 
compressed the rim. Mark the bottom. Clean the bottom. Undercut. shape gently Alex would you pass me a wire please thank you squeeze a little water around it release dry your hands have your board ready, put it on the board. But we'll cut this one open to take a peek. So we want an even wall all the way through. And I could have maybe left it one more time to get that one little piece, but I also can trim that out to even the wall. <laughs> 